Installations and electrical maintenance are in Victor Rodriguez's blood. He's been serving the New York City area for more than 15 years. My father was an electrician and I, I went to college for business and then from there I went into an apprenticeship, became a journeyman, became a foreman, a master electrician and then a business owner. He says as energy costs soar, businesses and homes have turned to alternatives, including electric vehicle charging stations and solar panels. Not only just the increase in cost, but, it, but it's also for the environment. Renewable energies, solar, wind, uh, hydro, it, it's, it's of an abundance and it's more environmentally friendly. As long as we could harvest it safely and store it safely, um, it, it should be more effective, yeah. New U.S. state and federal laws are incentivizing people to go green. For example, offering tax breaks for certain electric vehicles. Billions of dollars are also being invested in generating clean energy supply chains. There's a national drive towards going electric, but major infrastructure is needed to power this change. And that will only be possible with enough trained electricians. Analysts warn more electricians are retiring than going into the industry. The chronic shortage of workers means long waiting times for customers and spikes in the cost of labor. Some have taken matters into their own hands. A lot of people are doing it themselves. It's, it's, it's quite interesting and it's amazing how uh, uh, people have learned by the internet and stuff like that. And, and if people are half handy, they're, they, they're doing a lot more themselves. They're doing a lot more themselves. The U.S. is trying to slash its carbon footprint. President Joe Biden has promised to invest billions of dollars to tackle climate change as efforts continue to find ways to invest in the workforce. Sally Patterson, CGTN, New York.